Hi, I'm Max Evans, Senior Archives Advisor at the History Department of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Salt Lake City. I have been working on a new tool to create and deliver finding aids based on the encoded archival description model. We have tentatively dubbed it EET for EED tool. Our initial goal was to produce a web-based tool to deliver finding aids in a way that replaced the paper-based model which unfortunately carries over into online presentation. This is a screenshot of one of our online finding aids. It looks a lot like a paper finding aid, although a user may navigate to a particular series. Once you get into that series, it's awfully uh, difficult to know where you are. It's easy to get lost in these long lists unless you can keep track of the changes in the uh, series and subseries, all the time being distracted by the content of these lists. The new design is the implementation of the principles I presented at an SAA session in San Francisco in 2008. I had expected that we would use any of the available EAD creation tools for authoring and editing each EAD finding aid. However, our talented and creative web interaction designers and software engineers found that we could develop an EAD tool with a single user interface, both for the staff, those who create, edit, and approve archival finding aids, and for researchers, those who will search and browse the finding aids. This work is still in development. The administrative functions have been in production for several months. We have not yet released the public view, but are prepared now to demonstrate a pre-production version. I will begin by showing you the public view. First, use Primo to discover the collection, in this case the Brigham Young Office files, to find the collection level bibliographic data. Enter and execute the search. Then scroll through the results to find the collection that we're interested in. This brings you to a, a view of the full bibliographic record. And here you can click on uh, the Finding Aid tab to take you to the new Finding Aid that we're creating. This is the current administrative view, which is very much like the public view. In the next release, it will morph into a two-tab view that I will show you later. The two-tab view will have an overview, which will consist of the overview plus each of these other sections that we find in the front matter of a finding aid. It will also have a browse view. In this view, you see that the first level division of the collection here consists of series. In other cases, it may be divided into items or files. It is also possible to have mixed divisions where we have series, subseries, files, and items all at the same level. Click a series. This opens a view to the next level, a list of files or other components that make up the series. It also illustrate it, illustrates that the highlighted component is described in more detail below. The second series is similar. But the third series is divided into subseries instead of files. The third subseries in this series is divided into sub subseries and thereunder into files. Note that this is the end of the path. Also, note that the full location, the call number, together with real and box and folder numbers is displayed at the bottom together with any descriptive information that may be part of that file. And the entire path is also displayed. Thus, the context for the highlighted component is preserved and presented both textually and graphically. 
as you can see here. Let me go to another file. I'm taking you to correspondence from George Q. Cannon, one of Brigham Young's associates from 1873. That's part of the sub-series Letters from Church Leaders and Others, which is part of the incoming General Correspondence Series. Note here that for each logical type, one icon, in this case something that looks like an archives box, is used for series and sub-series, and a file or a folder is used to indicate a file level. And showing you another collection, a document indicates that this is an item in a file. The next or future versions of this public view will have a few enhancements. It will include the new two-tab view I mentioned earlier and a search feature. We will also be able to add some services. The ability to copy the selected component to the user's personal e-shelf, a link to a printable version, a PDF of the finding aid, a recommended citation, a circulation request, and a digitization request, or, if digitized, a link to a digitized file. We will show you how this is done. This illustrates how digital images in the contents of the folder would appear in our soon-to-be-implemented Digital Assets Management System, uh, Rosetta. This is the out-of-the-box Rosetta view. We expect to develop and implement our own viewer with some enhanced features. They include a better view of the descriptive metadata shown here This metadata comes from the EAD file level description, including the path indicating what this digital file is a part of. We would move this to a more visible location. This file has also been segmented into documents, showing that each document has its own page numbering system and clicking on a page you can bring up that page and then you can use the controls here to the right to browse through the other pages in that document and then cross documents to another uh, document within the within the folder. I started with Primo and will end with Primo. Each of the EAD components at every level will be harvested for discovery in Primo. Now instead of just discovery at the collection level, with subsequent browsing of the finding aid, as I just illustrated, a researcher will be able to search for terms found in component titles and descriptions, and then jump to the finding aid. Since this is not yet fully implemented, I'll ask you to use your imagination. Let's search for George Q. Cannon. When it is implemented, implemented, we will be able to limit the search to results found only in the finding aid using a, a facet over here. Choose one of those results and look for a link. Imagine a link down here labeled show in collection or something similar. A click will take you, the user to the precise location in the finding aid where the component is found as you can see. This is the public view. In the next clip, I will show you how to find, open, and edit an existing finding aid.